Before you begin, brush down your hair so that there are no tangles in it. After you're done with that, section off half your hair. I'm going to use my ears as a guide and clipping it away to come back to later. Now with the rest of the hair, divide it into two sections, bring it forward and now you can spray your hair. I'm using the Schwarzkopf Essence Ultim Hairspray. Now this, while protecting your hair, also holds your style and makes your hair shiny. So you can buy one of these if you don't have a heat protectant already because you're getting three things in one. Wait for the hairspray to get soaked up into your hair. You don't want to use any uh, heat when your hair is still wet, whether it's from water or spray. Now, take uh, maybe about an inch section from the back. Always start from the back. It's easier to work forward. I'm using um, a curling wand. Now this is a clipless one, so you just roll the hair around it. Uh, this is a 25 millimeter wand, which is roughly uh, 3 fourth of an inch. You can use any size. Depending on the size of the barrel, you get either big or small curls. The bigger the tongue, the bigger the curl, and the smaller the tongue, the smaller the curl. So take the wand behind and curl the hair away from your face so not like this which is towards your face but away so away from your face and try to keep it as flat on the tongue as possible and please please be mindful of your fingers because i always burn my fingers whenever i curl my hair that should be done now just let go on your hand and just hold it till it cools a little bit now the heat setting I've put it on is 180 degrees uh, which is for medium thick hair not too thin not too thick the thicker your hair is um, the higher you want the setting to be so that the curl doesn't loosen on to the next section again take hair from the back brush it with your fingers put the tongue behind and curl your hair away from your face. I'm not taking the hair all the way around. I'm just leaving this tip at least so that I can hold it. Now remember that when you're curling the hair uh, on the lowest point, you don't have to curl it all the way uh, to the base because when you leave the top hair, it's going to get covered anyway. So just focus on the bottom half and away from your face. So I've switched the wand to my left hand, now I'm going to tackle this. Same thing, away from the face. So can you see how far away I'm keeping it from my head? Drop it onto your hand. Wait for about 5 to 8 seconds. And away from the face. Just keep repeating it. Now, if you have unruly hair and you think that after you curl it, it's just gonna be all frizzy and a hot mess, blow dry it right after you wash it, smoothen it down a bit, and then you can go ahead and curl it. But don't straighten it. The curls become really flat. Rip off the hair that is already curled. Your temple is gonna serve as the guide. Just section off that area. Clip it away. Spray it again. Now I'm not spraying my hair um, all together in the beginning because the inner parts of the hair won't get coated well so I'm just spraying it section by section. Again, one inch section away from your face. Curling your hair away from your face ensures that it all bunches around your face away As you come closer up, uh, you need to take more and more hair into the wand. Wand on your left hand again.
take again just this middle portion right here and we are going to tackle that at the end take this area right here spray yet again Now you may think it's a pain sectioning it off so many times but when you have layers this is the best way to get it done. One inch section away from the face. Coriolis, it's again a clipless wand like this. It's a tapering wand so it's thicker at this base section right here and as you go lower it tapers. We're almost done, I promise. Now the reason why I don't make a partition and then curl uh, both sides equally because I feel that the hair, the crown area falls really flat. I want some bounce right here, some volume. I'm just dividing it half at the back right here. So like this, okay. So we are gonna use this right here. So I'm gonna section this off. Now depending on how thick your hair is right here at the crown, you may have to make two or three sections. Take this entire section and curl it around your wand. This is how the curl section will look. And if you can see, there is a lot of bounce here because we didn't divide up. So on to the next section. Now you can do this with the opposite. This is your second section right here. Now on to the last bit. Now that we're done with all the sections, take off the clip, give your hair a wiggle, partition it whichever side you want and then you can set it. Just run your fingers through it. Now if you want some face framing bits right here, now you can curl it around your face. Just check that all the pieces are curled. Technically you don't have to spray your hair with the styling spray again because you already went over it uh, with a 3-in-1 spray. But if you have a hard time um, holding a curl in your hair, then you may want to. There you have it. Easy, bouncy, effortless curls. Well, maybe some effort. I hope you liked it and if you did, you know what to do. Hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see you in my next one. Bye!